Hello and welcome to Wake Paranormal TV. I'm your host Keith Campbell and in today's video we're going to be doing a very special unboxing video. Stay tuned. So this video is going to be an unboxing video of a special foldable camera rig that comes with a really nice case. It was pretty inexpensive. It was about $49 on Amazon. I have something similar to this but it is just a C-shaped this one is shaped like an oval, so you can use two hands to hold it, which I think will give you a much steadier shot. I'm not a fan of holding it out in front of you like that. Um, so let's just get right into it, check it out, and uh, see what it looks like. Ow. All right. So I got this on Amazon for $49.99. I have like five different camera rigs uh, already. Uh, two for the shoulder, uh, a couple of pistol grips, and then that one C-stand one. And none of them are my favorite. So I'm hoping that this will be my new favorite. Right, let's just open it up and see what it comes with. All right, so right away, it's got some nice pluck foam in the middle. Open it up, you hear it lock into place. It's got a little button there to unlock. Right away, first impressions, it is plastic. You have to be really careful with plastic because, oh, I like that, this kind of got some tension to it. If you over tighten plastic rigs, you can crack the plastic. And then it has the other handle on this side, which, let's see, it just clicks into place, it looks like. Let's see if I can do that on camera with one hand. There we go. And then, all right, so that's locked. Locked. Now it's locked. All right, so here it is. It's about 12 inches, give or take. So my plan is to mount my Sony AX100, which is what I'm filming with right now, uh, facing forward. Obviously, this gives me room to mount a light on the top and a bunch of other cool accessories. So let's see what accessories it came with. It came with a phone clip, which I probably have about 10 of these because I feel like every single thing you order on Amazon now comes with these little phone clips. Instructions, we don't need no stinking instructions. So basically what my plan is with this um, rig is to mount my Sony camera facing out with an IR booster, my GoPro that is modified for uh, night vision facing towards me with a smaller um, IR booster. Um, and what I was thinking was taking this little phone mount or one of the other ones I have that might be a little more slim and mounting either um, my spirit box, maybe like an audio recorder. I'm gonna just kind of have like a hands-free rig while I'm walking around in the dark, which is challenging. This is a GoPro mount here, which has two quarter 20 threads on the bottom, a little ball head adapter, which is metal, so that's nice. So being that it's metal, you can really lock that in place. It's got a hot shoe adapter on the bottom, or a cold shoe, I'm sorry. Another GoPro style adapter. A little, I don't know, maybe you want to hang it off of your belt. <laughs> Another cold shoe adapter. Maybe I do need to read the instructions. All right, so this is cool. Even if I don't end up using this case for the rig, in case I leave it set up all the time, this would be a, um, a nice little case for anything else because it's all soft on the inside. So if you want to put some of your more fragile audio recorders or something else, that's pretty cool. You can never have too many cases. All right, so this gives you a few examples of how you can set it up. Right, so let's say maybe you want to record your investigation, but maybe also live stream to Facebook or YouTube, so you could have your phone mounted either towards you or away from you, and you have multiple uh, mounting oh, wow. slots for that. And then if I wanted to, let's say, I don't know, Take my Sony IR booster, which is also an LED light, 
you could mount this on the top here. I don't know why it's not fitting in there. This has the Sony, uh, I don't want to jam it in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to force that in there. We'll take this IR light. There we go. Yeah, see that, that slides in much better. All right, so now I have an IR torch on the front. Boom. On the back here, I could have my PSB7 spirit box, which is, um, could be really annoying to people. And then on the bottom, which right now I don't have, so I could just, for the sake of this video, I'll take my Sony mirrorless camera and let's just go ahead and mount it. I'm struggling over here, I'm struggling. I'm not gonna lock everything in too tight right here now. And then I still have an extra mount on this side if I wanted to put something else. I'm looking for stuff to mount, I don't know. Um, a microphone, which, I have my microphones, unfortunately, on my cameras right now. And I could just kind of walk around now. Nice, steady shots. We're fumbling around in the dark. Usually you have your camera in one hand, you have whatever piece of equipment you're using in the other hand. So I like using this phone clip right here because it actually fits the PSB7 really nicely. And it will probably fit... Um, we'll just pick a random recorder here. Um, Optimus uh, recorder here, the DR32. And look at that. Now you have hands-free EVP recordings. One of the biggest complaints people get is that they make too much noise while they're handling the recorders. And the best thing you could do is keep your hands off it. So now I can push record. I can ask some questions. And as long as I'm not shaking the rig around, like it's going to stay pretty quiet. Overall, it's pretty sturdy. I have a few investigations lined up for October, so I will be putting this thing to the test. Right now, the only thing making noise is this thing right here, which if I was to put something on it right now just to make it quiet. All right, so there we go. Still make, okay, that's my camera mount, so. Pretty quiet, pretty quiet. I like it, pretty solid. Good piece of gear, $49.99. It comes with all these cool attachments, plus a nice hard case to keep everything safe. Right away, I definitely recommend it. But once I put it to the test out in the field, I can definitely give you guys a much better idea of whether or not this is gonna withstand uh, traveling, tossing it around back and forth in your um, filming crates. Also, I'd like to mention that it also has quarter 20 mounts on the bottom of every fitting. So if, if you have one of those magic arms, you could come off the bottom with another phone clamp and you can put your PSB7 on the bottom. Some people like to put the K2 meters uh, underneath it and get it in the bottom of the frame of the shot so you can record if you have a spike or not. The only downside to that, anything you mount on the bottom, you will not be able to place it on a flat surface like this. There it is. I like it. $49.99 Amazon. I will leave a link in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.